Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the MG2 Pro. These are gaming earbuds that claim to have a 4D vibration motor built on in. So whenever you're listening to low frequency bass heavy tracks, it's going to vibrate to give you a more realistic sensation to the gaming environment or the music you're listening to. They also have 7.1 surround sound and it has a detachable microphone as well that you can use to communicate with people in a game or also for making phone calls. Now these earbuds come with both a standard 3.5 millimeter plug in addition to a USB port for laptop computers. On the side we have a sticker to know if this is an authentic product. Here are the specifications, 20 to 20,000 hertz frequency range, that's quite average. The cable length is 1.2 meters long, so again, pretty standard specs there. Built-in vibration engine unit provides crystal clear highs and lows to help. All right, and inside of this packaging, we have, of course, the earbuds uh, themselves. So this is not going to be the smallest earbuds in the world. It's definitely not going to be designed for sports or exercising because there's a lot of wires going on, and it's, again, more bulky than you would have with TWS-style earbuds, for instance. So here's the detachable wire for the microphone, and it does have a very gaming-centric look. It has an angular shape and prism to it. And then underneath this compartment, we also have the... Uh, USB cable, which you can use to plug into the computer, which is gold-plated, as you can see there. So actually, this uh, remote here, which you can use to adjust things like the volume of the microphone, the volume of the sound, and also for controlling things like that 3D key, is integrated onto the USB cable. So it seems like this is a feature that you'll only access when you are plugged into your computer, versus the earbuds with the 3.5 millimeters is uh, basically just regular earbuds. You can even plug it onto a PS4, so using the USB port, you can use it that way. But again, the cable length, you do need to sit a little closer probably to your television. Television. Taking a closer look at the design of the earbuds, they're very gaming centric because of all these lines and accents. It looks pretty cool. It is made entirely out of plastic though, so it is quite lightweight. But the volume of the earbud is quite large, especially compared to regular earbuds. As you can see here, it just is a lot thicker. And part of the reason is to accommodate that driver, which includes that vibrating unit to really emphasize bass. Now the inline remote here is made out of plastic as well. We have a volume slider for adjusting the volume that you can mute all the way or turn all the way up. There's also a play pause key. Now there is actually a small microphone on the inline remote directly. So you can basically just use this as regular 3.5 millimeter headphones that you would plug into a, a cell phone and then answer phone calls with using this little remote. But when you want to communicate with someone for gaming for extended periods of time, you want to make it sound a little bit better, you can plug in the extendable mic onto the side of the ear tips. And then this part is actually bendable as well. So you can position it closer to your mouth when you're actually talking. And the microphone quality is actually quite good. In my testing so far, I did a sample phone call. I also did a quick online gaming session. And a uh, caller said that I sounded actually very clean. Overall audio quality is, I would say, average. It sounds quite clean. Now, bass is for sure more punchy and present compared to other small in-ear style earbuds because typically earbuds have much smaller room to fit in drivers that can pack a punch in the lower frequencies. With that being said, the vibrating element isn't quite as strong as what I expected. Instead, it just feels like the bass is, you know, punched up compared to regular earbuds and as opposed to, again, feeling anything such as vibrating. I didn't really have too much of that in my testing. Um, otherwise, I did find that the bass was a little bit stronger on the left earbud compared to the right earbud, which I thought was a little bit strange. But overall, uh, music listening experience is quite good. Mids and highs also sound quite clean. So for general uh, music listening, for watching movies, again, it, they do sound quite good. What uh, this additional module allows you to do is uh, essentially have the 3D surround sound function be turned on. So this is because we are basically connecting external sound card, uh, kind of like a DAC in a sense, and you can clip this onto your shirt, and then you would plug this onto a computer. It even works with Chromebooks that I tried it with so far. And uh, after you plug it in, you can tap on this 3D key, and what it does is it kind of amplifies the sound and makes it sound more dimensional. So it uh, really splits things between you know left and right channels, kind of boosts the volume in addition to boosts the bass a little bit more. So it is a pretty powerful mode if you're watching movies or gaming. So here's an example. I plug the USB cable onto this Chromebook and immediately it's recognized as a sound source and I can change the volume and now sound is coming out of the USB port and that works just fine. And I can also tap on the 3D surround key. There's going to be a red backlight that pops onto life and then all of a sudden you're using that 3D uh, mode. And again, like I said, in the 3D mode it really boosts the volume. It also makes it sound more dimensional in terms of the sound and also boosts the bass. However, clarity is a slightly sacrificed. You'll be able to hear a little bit more 
more noise creep into the sound. So if you pause the track, you can hear a little bit more of a, a hiss in the background, kind of similar to wireless Bluetooth headphones. So yes, although they are advertised exclusively for gaming, I would say anything that requires, uh, you know, listening for longer periods of time because they are so comfortable, sitting down in addition to wanting that dimensional sound, like watching a movie, is where these uh, earbuds will really shine. So again, if you are watching a film, that dimensional sound, when you are, you know, watching maybe a bullet fly across the screen, you can feel it changing from the left to the right channel. It feels like it's happening in front of you, and for sure it packs more impressive bass than the average pair of small in-ear style earbuds at this particular price can bring. So here's the takeaway. Gaming headsets or larger headphones are a dime a dozen. We see them everywhere. The price has fallen quite dramatically over the past few years, but gaming earbuds are much rarer. In fact, I think these are the first that I've checked out. Uh, they actually bring a lot of innovation to the table, such as having this 3D surround sound function, which is using hardware and software to achieve in addition to having that detachable mic and that really interesting bass mode. With that being said, not all of these claims I would say are 100% accurate. Like that 4D vibrating bass I didn't feel was super powerful in actual performance. Ultimately, I like these a lot, especially since they're so affordable, but these are very niche earbuds. I would not use these to listen to you know, every single type of music. Uh, so if you want to have the most accurate music listening experience, there are better earphones on the market. But for things like watching movies, for gaming, where there's a lot of bass and you want to be very immersed within the world, with again, bass being super emphasized compared to the mids and highs, then this is where these earbuds will have an advantage over. So you can check out more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That has been the MG2 Pro 4 3D bass slash 3D surround sound gaming earbuds.